If there's a problem, contact me. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Dear attractive woman number two, only once in my life have I responded to another person the way I've responded to you, but I've forgotten when it was, or even if it was in fact me that responded. I may not know much, but I know that the wind sings your name endlessly, although with a slight lisp that makes it difficult to understand if I'm standing near an air conditioner. I know that your hair sits atop your head as though it could sit nowhere else. I know that your figure would make a sculptor cast aside his tools, injuring his assistant who was looking out the window instead of paying attention. I know that your lips are as full as that sexy French models that I desperately want to fuck. I know that if I could, for an instant, have you lie next to me, or on top of me, or sit on me, or stand over me and shake, then I would be the happiest man in my pants. I know all of this, and yet you do not know me. Change your life, accept my love, or at least let me pay you to accept it. Sincerely, Dr. Jeffrey Korchek. I'm glad you feel that way. That's the way I feel, too. Have you thought about how you feel? No. Can I tell you how I feel? Is there something that... Yeah. There's a registered letter here you have to sign for. A what? A registered letter. Okay, thanks. From the office of Tunnel. Fennel. And Funnel. We represent the interest of attractive woman number two. Oh, no. Who received from you on 10 February 1995 a letter. The full content of which is reproduced below for your benefit. Oh, my God. Which is so explicit in nature. And intent. That we will pursue a case of sexual harassment against you. Oh, shit. We draw your attention to underlined sections one through four. This is bad. That sexy French model that I desperately want to fuck. Have you lied next to me? Or on top of me. Or sit on me. Or stand over me and shake. Oh my God. Hey, you're doing, you're honey. 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 You're honey